Hey, this is Cole Hauser. I play Rip Wheeler on Yellowstone. Check it out. I love you. Taylor Sheridan has said from the very beginning that he had you in mind for Rip. What was your first thought when you heard that? Uh, when he said that, God, I mean, I had him in mind too. I mean, I've been watching it for a long time. He's a, you know, he's a phenomenal writer. He's, I think, one of the best American writers right now out there. A little present from the What now? Go! What is your favorite part about playing Rip? And do you do anything special to get into the character, maybe even physically? I mean, it's all of it, really. I mean, you know, the, the great thing about Rip is there's a, a ton of different colors that Taylor's allowed me to play, whether mm -hmm. it's, you know, obviously the, the dark side of him, um, the love, the romance, the passion, you know, um, the friendship, the loyalty. I got it, whatever you want. You know, all of it is, is just what you dream about as an actor, so I've been very fortunate in that way. With all that being said, how similar are you to Rip? <laughs> Maybe less violence? <laughs> Just a touch, yeah. I'm gonna give you one last chance. You leave now or you'll never leave. There's parts of him. I mean, I, I, I feel like the stuff that w with Kelly and I, and, mm -hmm. and you know, there's some moments in there that you know, certainly uh, I've been able to you know, kind of use from my own relationship. Mm -hmm. I've been with the same woman for a very long time. You're gonna spend the whole day thinking about me. Do that already. What does your wife think of you kind of now being solidified as one of America's hottest on screen cowboys? <laughs> she doesn't see any of that. She is one of those, I mean, amazing women that she's been with me for so long. She knows the ins and outs of what we do, and she loves Kelly. They get along great. And, yeah. you know, it's, it's a small family, and she comes up to Montana, so it's, um, it's pretty easy. What do you make of all of the social media reaction to? The Cowboys, you have people who are walking around airports in shirts with Rip on them, and yeah. what do you think of all of it? I mean, to be honest, to see, again, the show mm -hmm. and the growth of it and the growth of the character and how it's kind of struck a chord in America, I mean, it's, it's pretty yeah. amazing to watch people dress up as Beth and Rip yeah. for Halloween. I mean, it's ultimately, it's, um, it's been a wild kind of ride, but very cool to see. Mm -hmm. You obviously had to train to be a cowboy. How was that boot camp for you? I mean, the first year was tough. I mean, it, Taylor is no joke. I mean, he put me on every horse he could find that it was Frank, you know, he, yeah. saddles, different mm -hmm. saddles. And Jefferson told us he has a Saddle. scar and sores on his booty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like. I actually saw, it's funny, when we went to cowboy camp. Oh God, you said I actually saw, I go, you saw it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I saw the blood running through his jeans. And I was like, it's blood? He goes, yeah, I have saddle sores. And I was like, oh man. Wow. He's like, you want me to look at it? He's like, no. Mm, <laughs> and he went and sat in the river. Where are you taking him? Pasture nine. There's way too much bear sign in this pasture for me, sir. You guys all are so much fun, and, and what I've been gathering is it's like a fa it's a family it's a on and off camera. Yeah, it is, it is. We've been together for a while, mm -hmm. and obviously last year with COVID, yeah. I mean we couldn't go out to dinner. We couldn't, right. so we all went to each other's houses, and, yeah. and it was a little family that that um, I love. I mean I'm I'm honored to be a part of this. How has it been shooting in Montana? Because it's absolutely yeah. stunning. Montana, I mean, you know, my family on my dad's mm -hmm. side, they're all from there. So to do something in Montana for mm -hmm. me has been a big, big deal, you know, and my family's really proud of it. So going up there four and a half months out of the year and being able to play and, mm -hmm. and, and, and go into the mountains and, you know, hike and, you know, it's just been amazing. What is your favorite scene from season four? God, that's a great question. Um, there's a bunch of them. I love the scene with Carter when I open the door and he's sitting there in that conversation about, mm -hmm. about life. You have no future, none, beyond this place. I think it's, mm -hmm. it says not only a lot of what Rip believes in, but also, mm -hmm. you know, the mentality that it takes to, you know, to survive not only in life, but also mm -hmm. on a ranch. Life doesn't give people like you chances, kid, if you haven't noticed. When you first read that we were being introduced to Carter. Mm -hmm. What was your initial reaction? Great. Yeah. Yeah, because you know, again, it, it just shows another side, not only of Beth, but mm -hmm. of Rip, and also the ranch and John Dutton. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's this new character that I believe that you know is necessary 
for their growth of their relationship right. as well. So I was very happy about it. And I like the way, you know, I've always with, with Taylor is, is consistency of character. Mm -hmm. And I think that the way he wrote Rip, you know, and Carter is, is he gave him the ability to actually take his time to get to the mm -hmm. point of wanting to bring him back to the ranch. A full circle moment too, because it's, it's, he's a mini Rip. In a way, the thing is, is yes, I think mm -hmm. that moment where he's driving away and he sees him in mm. the rear view mirror and he's by himself walking down that road, it reminds him wow. of himself. Obviously, Beth and Rip, they're embracing more of that maternal and paternal yeah. side, having Carter around, but they also, they also put this guard up still. Mm -hmm. Do you think that their perspective, specifically Rip's, will change and open up even more to view him as a son, and I know it's a big word, mm -hmm. but especially because of what Rip has been through and how John took him in? I think there's potential for it. I mean, you know, Rip, you know, as you've seen, you know, throughout the years, you know, he's this tough mm -hmm. love. Mm -hmm. And I think the thing with him is it takes time, you mm -hmm. know, and I think that's just who he is. And I think over time, it might not be season four, it mm -hmm. might be season five, but you, you might see that. I mean, it's yeah. really up to Taylor and where he wants to go with it. Now in season four, we see a lot of the wrath of Rip continue. Mm. There really is nothing that Rip won't do for John Dutton, is there? No. That loyalty not. runs deep. For Rip, you know, John is the beginning, middle, and end, mm -hmm. other than Beth, you yeah. know, and, and the family for that matter. You know, anybody that was mm -hmm. to, to mess with the Dutton family, yeah. you know, he would, he would take, uh, take out for sure. You know, you're the only one in my life to ask me why when I say we're doing a thing. I figure you'd tell me why if you want me to know. Well, I'll figure it out when we get there. I'm not calling you out for Rip. Thank you for it. Talk to me about doing scenes with Kevin Costner because you two have been together since the beginning. Yeah, I mean, initially, you know, he's somebody I've been watching from afar for, mm. you know, 30 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, the opportunity to work with him, you know, at first was, was great. And then yeah. getting to know him and, you know, his passion for not only acting, but for John Dutton and right. the show, you know, was, was wonderful to see. You know, the Lodge is where family belongs. I mean, you asking us to come live up? That's what I'm asking. You know, we've become great friends, and mm -hmm. he's just a, a lovely guy. I mean, he's from the same hometown that I'm from, yeah. actually just down the road. So we had that in common, and, Aww. you know, he's like an older brother, you know? It's nice to, to look up to somebody and see somebody as passionate as he is. <laughs> yes. I love you. I love you. I honestly think that Beth and Rip will go down in TV history as one of the most iconic couples. You guys just have such a profound impact on the audience. Do you feel that way? You know, I feel like Beth and Rip, you know, I think the reason why people, I mean, my, my, my theory is, is that, you know, they're not perfect, mm -hmm. you know, and they, they have their struggles, they have their issues, and I think, you know, a lot of the audience looks at that and they, you know, whether they are having those same issues or not, yeah. you know, probably not as intense, but, I think that you know they're 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 uh, you know they're challenged in so many different ways, but they have each other. And what happens is when they're together, they open up, so they get to see you know the armor come off. You're all I need. I'll call you whatever you want. It's you know w wonderful to play it as an mm -hmm. actor, and actually have somebody like Kelly to play it with. I mean, she's fantastic, but you know I I, I think that's why they've fallen in love. Is it's just it's, it's, it's not that perfect, like, you know, relationship. It's, yeah. it's real. How would you describe your relationship with her? Well, I mean, there's a, you know, a freedom that we have together. And I think, you know, it's every once in a while, whether it's an actor or an actress, that you have that opportunity mm -hmm. to really let the walls down and have that, you know, freedom to play, I guess. And I couldn't ask for a better partner. I mean, she has been such a blessing. And um, I just hope that we get to continue to do this for a very long time. <laughs> she wants, she actually told us that she would love to see some type of Beth and Rip in the future when they're like in their 60s and they're like, you know, <laughs> doing the same Beth and Rip around. stuff and all of when that. I'm in my rocking chair. You're in your rocking chair, yep. I was like, pointing what? to people, you do this, you do that. The ranch comes first. You forgot that.
Lloyd. Yeah. Obviously, there has been some tension in the bunkhouse during season four. Rip goes in there and puts him into place. Well, I tell you, consistency of character. I don't care who you are. Mm -hmm. You know, there are rules and regulations. You break them and you pay for them. This is for your protection, Lloyd. You understand me? This is to protect you from yourself. So you have a relationship with 4AJ Smith. Oh, I love the kid, yeah. What kind of mindset do you have to get into? It's easy because he annoys me sometimes. So okay. I just, okay. you know, he'll be planning about something. And okay. I'll just go, okay, let me just tap into that. And then I'll just throw him around. And he's pretty good, you know. Okay. He's he's done the stunts throughout his career. And obviously, he's a buckaroo. Yeah. He's flown off a few horses. So he, he allowed me to throw him around pretty good. So most of those scenes were you guys. Yeah. No stunt doubles needed for fighting, though. No, no, no. I don't <laughs> think they had a stunt double for him. Wow. I don't think so, no. That's Not that I'm aware of, no. Look at Lloyd. Yeah. That's amazing. He doesn't get up very well. He falls down really good, but he doesn't get up very well, so I always got to pick him up. Mm. Do you read anything on social media? Not really, no. Okay. No, I mean, I, I've been out a little bit, you know, I'm I'm kind of secluded in, in Florida, and, okay. and uh, but... Uh, I've been out a little bit and seen the reaction, and mm -hmm. you know it's it's been wonderful. Yeah. That's all I can say is people are genuinely, you know, uh, very kind and and uh, guys and girls too. And now there's like a community yeah. between the Yellowstone yeah. fans, and there's it's, a reason why you guys are the number one show. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's, you know, it's wonderful to go from the bottom all the way to the top, and to be there from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. It's, you got to be very proud of it. I am very proud. We just do it like the old days. Grab a track wagon, bring it out here, and we'll babysit them all summer long. Now, obviously, the show is very intense. Yeah. But what is it like when the camera cuts and y'all are just out there on set together? It depends on the day, but, you know, some days, you know, we're cutting it up, having a good time, and, mm -hmm. you know, because we're, we're on horses, and usually when Taylor or Travis is there, you know, he'll bring in, like, you know, a case of beer, and we'll slide yeah. horses, and we'll just have a good time, and, and he'll, he'll shoot it, wow. you know, and that's... Those are the, the great kind of moments that we all have as kind of a family, mm -hmm. you know, to just cowboy and, mm -hmm. you know, chase steers and, you know, and just be boys, I guess. And then, you know, there's those days that you come in and the scenes are extremely intense and mm -hmm. everybody's focused and they got their game face on. You mentioned some scenes are obviously very intense yeah. and, and emotional and there's a lot of tension. Huh? Come on. How is it for you coming out of those very intense scenes? You know, I mean, I've, I've done a lot of them throughout my career, mm -hmm. so I, I've learned to, like I said, turn mm -hmm. the switch on and off. Wow. I've gotten better at it, you know, mm -hmm. over time. But, you know, for years and years, it was very difficult to do. I mean, yeah. you would drag some of that into your, you know, into your life, um, you know, if you're playing a really evil person. So, mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, I mean, I think at the end of the day, you know, you leave it, all yeah. on the field as best you can, and right. then you go home and I have kids and mm -hmm. you have to play dad and uh, husband, so. Right, we and don't go always... to the train station. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that is so great about this season in particular is we're seeing a lot more of the horses and what they are capable of doing. Right. How cool is it to see these sequences of the horses dancing and showing off their skills and mm. in the ring, in the rodeo, and doing their thing? Yeah, so when we're on set, there's there's something that kind of happens where it's like everybody starts to kind of mutter and the next thing you know it's like, and everybody goes, ooh, is Travis here? And that's Taylor. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh yeah, he's here. And then you see the bloomers come in and you see all these trucks come in and boom, yeah. all these, you know, millions of dollars worth of horses come out and it's game on. Are those all yours? Are now. We're turning this into a universe now, and yep. by we, I mean Taylor Sheridan. Yep. Yellowstone has become this incredible universe with 1883 and the Sixes spinoff mm -hmm. coming. What do you want to see in the universe? I just want to see, you know, everybody just continue to enjoy the show. I mean, I, I feel like, look, you know, I think 1883 is going to be epic. Mm -hmm. It looks epic. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm excited to see where that goes. You know, what he's touching right now is turning into gold, and I just hope that he continues to pen yeah. Yellowstone and, and keep this train rolling. Who do you think did the best in Cowboy Boot Camp? Tim McGraw, Kevin Costner, or you? <laughs> well, Kevin wasn't in Cowboy. He did Cowboy Boot Camp like 30 years ago. <laughs> For dances, with wolves. right? He told me about it, but um, I don't know. I, I, does Tim Negron know how to ride? 
So I guess the question would be, who's the best cowboy? <laughs> oh, man, I can't say that. I, I don't know. I've never seen Tim ride, and yeah. Kevin's a badass. I mean, yeah. I've gotten better over time, but it's taken, mm -hmm. you know, the only thing you can do is just work, mm -hmm. you know, and, you know, we'll see. Maybe we should all get on horses together one day. Do you have one horse that you yeah. stick with? Well, no. So year two, the horse I love the most, and he actually, he's lame now because he hurt himself. Not, oh. not on the show, but uh, his name was Dude. Dude? And he, was, he was a bay horse. Okay. And he was a badass. He'd do anything for me. Wow. Yeah, he was like my best friend. Wow, this is yeah. like Rip and John, but in horse form. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you and the horse. I could look at him and go, let's go, and he just walked right up. Yeah. Who do you have now? I, uh, they call him dude number two. Oh my god! And then gosh. there's dude number three. All the horses that I ride are named dude. Are just dude, yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah. So what's your relationship like with those? They're all good, but good. nothing like the first one. Aww. Yeah. He would like come up and just snuggle under my arm and I'd pet him. Like just like a normal pet. Wow. You and know? were you, were you good with horses before coming Decent. to this? Decent. Okay. Decent. I mean, I grew up in Oregon, yeah. you know, riding a little bit, so. Wow. But, um, but this has changed the game for me. I mean, you know, yeah. having to play a character like this, you have to know what you're doing, so. Would you ever want to see a Beth and Rip spin off? Hell yeah. Is this enough room for you, baby? What do you think? I'm gonna have five shirts and a pair of boobs, Beth. You are the perfect man. Why would you want to see this spin -off? No, I mean, I, I would love to continue working with her and Taylor. So yeah. that's why I say yes. And I think, you know, if, if it presented itself, of course, I mean, I would definitely entertain that. More yeah. stories to tell. Yeah. More horses to ride. You never know what her and I could get into. We've seen. With Taylor riding, it could be a really uh, interesting uh, show.